hey lovely foodies welcome back to the channel it is that time of the year again and today i'll be teaching you how to make this beauty here the jamaican black cake or fruit cake or rum cake christmas cake whatever you call it nice and moist roma's kitchen style i'll be sharing my recipe with you today <laughs> let's go this is so easy we need two sticks of unsalted butter you should remove your butter from the fridge overnight so it gets nice and soft so it will be easier for you to manage it but mine isn't as soft even though i left it out overnight so i'm using my hand mixer here to kind of get this nice and broken down all right that's ready so I'm going to add to this two cups of soft brown sugar. You know you have the big grain sugar and you have the soft brown sugar. I recommend the soft brown sugar. So now I'm going to cream that butter and sugar. And this will take me about 6-7 minutes really. And continue once you're when you're creaming the sugar and the butter. You can do little pauses and scrape down the sides of your bowl because you want all that sugar and butter to be nice and creamed not just some of it right Continue creaming that and once it looks nice and and you know somewhat like this It's time to add in the eggs. I'm adding less eggs this time around than I've added in my previous recipe um, I just like less eggs for mine and it works fine. So five eggs here. I'm going to be adding the eggs in two at a time and Guys, there is something on the egg that I call the eyes of the egg Yes, they're not really eyes. I think they're called the chalaza. It's that little Y thing or two two pieces of the that little two pieces of the Y thing that's attached to the egg. I don't like it in things that I'm baking. So I always remove them. You can remove yours if you wish to. So add in two more eggs. You do not need to overmix this once you kind of you know mix it around and you see that there is no more no more sign of egg then you can just add in your other eggs and one more that's it for the eggs All right, now because I've added five eggs, I hate when my cake is raw, absolutely hate it. So I'm going to, well first I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl, ensure that everything is nice and together here. Then I'm going to be adding in some lemon juice. Now you can use like half of a lemon, just take all the juice from half of a lemon, but I'm adding around... Uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice in this I think one tablespoon is enough for me so add it to the mixture next I'm going in with some freshly squeezed orange juice the same amount a tablespoon and this is just for flavor Next, I'm going in with some rose water, just a half teaspoon of the rose water. I'm going to kind of mix everything together here, cut on, in a cut and fold motion. Then I'm going in with the star of the show, the fruits, the blended fruits. Two cups, I'm using two cups of fruits. You can use about two or two, two to two and a half cups of fruits. And guys, my fruits have been soaking for over a year and my fruits it this fruits guys it's like the 
puree the fr fruits puree because i like mine completely blended i don't want to be biting in the cake and bite any other big fruits and i steamed my fruits right and if you use this method of steaming your fruits then you can use it the same day or the next day i will leave the video the link to that video in the description box so you too can steam your fruits and flavor your fruits from the get-go so when you are baking your cake you don't need to add it too you don't need to add too much um spices or anything like that because your fruits fully 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 spiced a hundred percent spiced flavored so i'm mixing everything together here and don't mind how this look right now that's just that's just the butter and fruits and stuff you know showing out so once you mix that out the next thing you will do is add some lemon zest and lime zest to your mixture now the i just really grated just now the orange and the lemon next i'm going in with some vanilla extract and the lemon and lime zest will give flavor plus help to cut the rawness next i'm going in with a tablespoon of molasses then once you add the molasses in and you fold everything you fold everything in then you're going to rest it to the side then we can work on the dry ingredients so here i'm going to add two cups of all-purpose flour here goes one cup then one cup and then another half cup of graham cracker crumb now you can use a half cup of breadcrumbs too or you can just use two and a half cups of flour next i'm going in with a half one teaspoon of cinnamon powder then a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of cloves then i'm going in with a one and a half teaspoon of salt then a teaspoon of ginger powder yes ginger powder and one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and guys this is a not my not so secret anymore i've started adding in vanilla powder in and trust me it gives it such a great flavor i'm mixing everything here together and guys if you have mixed spice you don't need to add mixed spice because it's a repeat of the cloves cinnamon and so and so on so that dry ingredients i'm just going to add it to the wet ingredients and i'm going to add this in thirds so i have three portions to add in and you don't want to kind of mix 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 this you just need to fold this in so cut and fold cut and fold until you see that there is no more flour you add the second portion right second portion in and guys if you saw like how the how the cake looks in the beginning you'll know that it kind of ha it it has like a pudding like texture it's um a little bit wet not too dry you know so if you like yours a little christmas cake is normally a little soft you know and pudding it has a pudding like texture so if you want it to be kind of tighter than that firmer than that right then all you need to do is add like a half cup more flour but the two cups of flour and the half cup of cracker crumb perfect for me love 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 the texture so this is the last portion i'm going to fold that in just the same and at this point it was getting too much for me so i just switched the bowl and you know was just seeing how fast i could cut and fold this and my bowl was very much too small so after a few minutes several minutes of cutting and folding this is what i have but of course i do not like this color i want mine to be dark so i'm going in with five and a half tablespoons of browning 
you can use your favorite brand of browning do not exceed five and a half tablespoons you can go six if you want it darker but do not exceed six do not exceed six tablespoons of browning for this amount of cake because get this amount of batter that is because the browning yes it gives it the color it gives it no flavor but if you add too much it will become bitter i'm using the grace browning grace sponsor me but yeah really uh you do not need to add too much browning because your bat your cake will be bitter and you don't want that you just want the color right so for me after mixing all this out all the browning in actually the color was just perfect and once i'm through mixing this out It'll be time for me to transfer transfer this in my tin now this is a nine inch spring form pan i have line i've greased it with butter and i've lined just the bottom of it and i'm not going to fold this all the way up even though this is not going to rise up too much because it's not that type of cake this is more dense and once this is all knocked down this needs to be baked over a water bath at 300 degrees fahrenheit for one hour and 30 minutes or 40 minutes or until a toothpick in the center comes out clean and once it's finished baking like this no cracks because the oven wasn't too hot and the water bath was there i'm spraying it now with a little bit of rum and wine you can add as much rum or wine in the mixture to spray your cake once it's fresh out the oven so it will soak all up in that cake right and it will keep this nice and moist and it will keep this for a long time now here's my cake the next day because i baked this late at night so the next day this is me I love this spring form pan because it just comes off so so easily and this is my cake rich and moist guys as you can see and I'm going to cut right into this for you you know the mint and the cherry was just for decoration so let me remove that and look at that cut lovely 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 known dryness to the cake darlings mm-hmm and before i could get a good video of this guys i ate that can you believe it i ate that and that's it guys there you have it the roma's kitchen style christmas cake super 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 moist let me know what you think about the recipe in the comment section i will leave the full ingredients list on my website of course if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on remember to visit my website thank you so much for watching darlings happy holiday until next video